and welcome to this edition of District Dialogue. I'm your District 3 Commissioner, Terenia Carthen, and on today's edition, I have in the guest studio with me, Mr. Ron Roberts, our new Transportation Director. Actually, he's our first Transportation Director. Welcome, Ron. Thank you, Commissioner Carthen. Pleasure to be here today. Good, I'm glad you accepted my invitation. Uh, you and I have had the opportunity for the last three and a half years since I've been in this role to converse. You are our planning and zoning manager, and you did a great job there. And um, I think we forged a relationship that really kind of helped me as a new commissioner understand the zoning laws and, and what to expect when certain cases came up in my district. Well, now you're our new transportation director, uh, which I think is great because we know your work ethic. We know how hard and how committed you are to Douglas County. So I just want to be the first to say congratulations and welcome aboard to your new position. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. I do have to acknowledge I had a really good team in B&Z. So, <laughs> and and um, uh, I actually, I live in Smyrna. I'm married to uh, my wife, Carmen, and we have a daughter named Emma who's 10. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up, I was born in Austell, and so I grew up in this area. Ah, so you know um, the area well. I do. I was yeah. born at Cobb Hospital. Okay. Oh. Um, and then um, uh, the last couple of years, uh, I have been in, in planning and zoning, and that's been a, been a real delight. But previous to that, I was down here running the Vanpool program years and years ago, and uh, I was a transportation planner. I was uh, a mobility manager over in Cobb, wow. and um, I worked at. Uh, CCT before it was Cobb Link. So I had a lot of experience with, with uh, transit and I still have my Breeze card in my pocket. <laughs> what do you know about a Breeze card? I have several. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, we, uh, it's, uh, uh, we have the, the Breeze card. I also have a, uh -huh. a, CDL, a CDL with passenger certification. Okay. So I mean, and it was, it was funny because for the past uh, five years I've been on the transit advisory board in Cobb so I mean I've always kind of had an interest in it so I mean this has really just been a blessing I mean I I, I miss PNZ but this yeah. is really I have a real interest in this and I've been able to reconnect with so many people I had not seen in so long so long so this is your sweet spot so to speak you're just coming back to a familiar area in government that's cool so Tell me, describe what Connect Douglas has and what is your vision for Connect Douglas and Douglas County now that you're our first director of transportation? I know, that is, <laughs> that's, that is something, transit director. Yes. Uh, but that, that's, uh, so you know, we had the, uh, the Vanpool program, that's how the rideshare program originally started mm -hmm. in, uh, many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, at one time we had 86 Vanpools coming out of Douglas County. Wow. That was 33% of all the van pools in the metro Atlanta region. Wow. So um, there was in, in, in this, this little area in here used to line up people paying their, their, uh, for their van pools, but mm -hmm. now they've expanded up obviously into the, the fixed bus route service. And mm -hmm. then we also have the, the voucher program for the seniors and the disabled. Um, and we also have the, the, the Greta buses that come through so right, right. For, from Douglas Boulevard. So. Yeah. So we've got a whole uh, litany of other services now mm -hmm. that we're providing. Uh, you know, I used to be one of the people who would line up in here for the van pool. Did you have a, did you ride one of our vans? My daughters rode the van pool because they went to school in Atlanta. They oh. went to Crystal Ray. And so the driver would actually drop them off at Crystal Ray on his route because he would go down to the AT&T building, which was right across mm -hmm. from where the school was. Right. And so, yes, yeah, so I would be in here pay, paying the fees. And I've written Greta a couple of times going mm -hmm. to doctor's offices instead of wasting my gas to go downtown I will park here and use Greta so yeah so I, I think it's convenient I, I, I love transportation I grew up in Atlanta mm -hmm. and so my mother didn't know how to drive and so my whole life I was riding Marta I've been riding Marta since I was in first grade that's fantastic. So I'm, I'm used to, to this type of service, and I think anywhere you go, mm -hmm. if you want a community where people can get around, you have to have these type of services in order for them to, because a lot of people don't drive. My mother didn't, never learned how to drive. Really? So how would we get around if there was no public access to transportation, so. That you, that's, yeah. a, that's, that's a very <laughs> admirable uh, uh, 
history yeah. of, of transit. <laughs> One of the things that uh, I've seen that people talk about, like the, a lot of people that move here from up north, mm -hmm. uh, they come down and they don't realize just exactly how, uh, you know, transit, uh, they, they kind of grew up with it in, right, in, right, the, in more, did, the more right. dense cities, uh -huh. and now they're, they're relocating down here. And they're, they're like, like where, where is it? Yeah, how do, you, how do you get around? Yes, and, exactly. And how, what do we do? Exactly, exactly. You know, I, I want you to talk a little bit about um, what you envision for Connect Douglas. What, what is it that you will bring to the table? I know you have a lot of connections, mm -hmm. and this is one of your sweet spots. But what is it that you see us doing with our fixed bus routes? I think um, I think it was important, you know, to to get the the system off the ground and get mm -hmm. it started. But mm -hmm. it is a it is in its infancy, as uh, as was noted at a another commissioner's uh -huh. uh, get together uh -huh. uh, previously. With that same years, mm -hmm. who they, will definitely tell you what it is that they like and they don't like. They they do, <laughs> and they're, they're, and that brutal honesty is uh -huh. very important. It You've is, got to, yeah, you, absolutely. And we're listening. Our ears are wide mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. And we want to uh, we want to be able to, to look at some some of the funding that we get mm -hmm. uh, the eighty twenty matches the feds and actually really uh, look at a, a full on study and mm -hmm. we want to really hear from from the residents all over Douglas County so right. that we can see what what services we can do and expand what we have and make the most of it you know um, we've we've had several uh, different. Uh, Little conversations. We had ATL staff here last week for three and a half hours. Um, they were that was that was a highlight meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I, I floated home that day. I was mm -hmm. so uh, staff uh, enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. We, we just really got on the same page, and they were really happy to be out here. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't seen some of them in, in a long time, and mm -hmm. seeing names and things like that mm -hmm. come up that you worked with. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the things we. Uh, you know, we've I, we've got some ideas, and mm -hmm. uh, um, I think w one of the things we talked about doing this summer is the idea to maybe just do free fairs all summer. Wow! I, I think, that, and then do uh, also a, a outreach. Okay. Travel training. Mm -hmm. We had a program in Cobb that was absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, it was called <laughs> Get on the Bus, Gus. And, Get on uh, the bus. <laughs> I know that's an earworm for you, uh -huh, isn't it? Uh huh. Um, but we, we, we would take the senior, we would go to the senior centers, take, we had a mock-up breeze machine, mm -hmm. showed them how to, what, the, what it looked like, right. and then walk them through it. And then we would take them on a trip. And it was mm -hmm. easy. From there, we would take like the, the CCT 10 down to the art center and then go, oh. and, and then we took them all the way out to the airport. And once mm -hmm. they saw how easy it was to go to the airport, they couldn't wait to go to pick up their family members. Mm -hmm. or, or a lot of them were like, had, one guy was like, well, I would have been going on more vacations if I'd known it was that easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think, I think this summer, uh, I really want to, I know I, I, I hopefully have somewhat of a, I don't know, maybe grace period in this new role. Okay. We, we will definitely give you all the <laughs> grace that you need because we know it is, it is really a, a difficult job. There are a lot of moving pieces in mm -hmm. transit, right? There are. I mean, there are, you know, and staff, right? So you, you're, you're getting into your mm -hmm. new role, you're reconnecting with, you know, your peers from the past. Mm -hmm. um, and then Douglas County does play a pivotal role in the transportation area um, in transit west of Atlanta, right? We're, we're part of the mm -hmm. metro Atlanta region. So we got to be at the table. Right. And that's why, you know, making you the transit director was so important because we know that in order to have good economic development in Douglas County, we got to have a transit system that's that works right. for everybody, mm -hmm. including this region. That's yeah. absolutely correct. And that's, that's, a, uh, that's a good way to look at it. You know, a, a lot of our, you know, our, our buses do connect um, and tra are able to transfer to uh, Cobblink. Mm -hmm. And then they, uh, from there, they can get to HE Homes and get into uh, downtown. Um, and so that's a, that's a huge benefit. And, and that's actually one thing that, that kind of came up this morning, I guess, when we were, I was listening to the work session. We, they were talking about the accountability course and things like mm -hmm. that. But I mean, people need this service. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, and it, 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 the lives that it touches Absolutely. are very important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, you know, I, I started the, the, the Cobb, uh, the voucher program in Cobb. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you saw, what a difference that made. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's actually something 
probably talk to, to about like getting some interviews with some of these mm -hmm. riders mm -hmm. you know over the summer so you mm -hmm. get their experiences and share right. that with uh, with the board of commissioners yes, sometime absolutely one thing about it we have a vibrant senior community here in Douglas County, mm -hmm. which is evident by our senior centers. They're mm -hmm. always packed, you know, any events that we do. Mm -hmm. um, our seniors come out, and so I definitely want to make sure that our seniors feel like we're paying attention to them, that they can age in place with dignity, that they are able to go about their county and feel safe while doing it. Yeah, if, uh, if I may, I just want to share this email that we got this morning. Um, we received a, a call from Rosalia Jackson's sister this morning. Unfortunately, we were news was that she had passed away over the weekend. She, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She had been one of our original uh, writers for the ADA program mm -hmm. for many, many years. And it, um, anyways, her, her sister sent out these thoughts to us. She wanted to extend a thank you to Connect Douglas mm -hmm. for the service we provided her sister, not only for transportation, but also for the friendships Ms. Jackson was able to form while riding our buses. She wanted to stress the importance of what we do for the community and those who need our services. And she asked that we all take a moment to stop and smell the flowers, mm -hmm. as she put it. Life is entirely too short. So, wow. we, uh, you know, working in, in this arena, I, I, I've seen this many times. It makes mm -hmm. a, a big difference. It made a difference to my grandmother before she passed away. Mm -hmm. She was, uh, she, she was in the voucher program in Cobb, okay. and so she would get out and mm -hmm. go do things that, well, after she couldn't drive anymore. And, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, sometimes we get hung up on ridership when right. we, what we really need to be thinking about is the quality of the quality trips of life, right. and, and 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 the service that we're, 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 we're providing. providing and trying to and then and, and trying to enhance it so just for those who are watching what is ADA American disabilities American disabilities right so she was uh, she had a uh, miss Jackson had a disability, disability so she was able to use our our, our, our paratransit service and that's actually uh, uh, done here or mm -hmm. screening and everything See, those are the types of mm -hmm. things that I think a lot of people miss in the conversation that, you know, they, they don't know about. There are those people who are in the community mm -hmm. who, for whatever reason, may not be able to drive, whether it's disability, whether it's they can't afford it, whether they, you know, got their license suspended because of something that, right. you know, happened. But they still want to be able to be productive throughout their community and connect to other communities for job opportunities, school opportunities, mm -hmm. which is why my kids use the service. Um, there are so many quality of life issues that have to do with transportation. And not to say the least, you do want to have some autonomy, some independence, right? You just don't want to be dependent on somebody else to come and you know pick you up and take you where you got to go. Because sometimes you feel like you're a burden. My grandmother would get on the bus and I'm like, hey, I could come pick you up. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want you to have to come all the way over mm -hmm. here. You know, they want to be able to do for themselves. And another thing that I got out of you reading that letter was the friendships. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. The friendships, the, the people that you connect with. I, when I was a little girl, I had the same bus driver, Mr. Robert. Mr. Robert picked me up Monday <laughs> through Friday. Right. right. And he knew me, right? If I had lost a transfer from getting on another um, bus, he would still let me get on the bus. I'm looking for my, he's like, kiddo, just sit down. I got you. <laughs> you know, those types of things. So it's mm -hmm. really important that, you know, you have that community of riders and you start to form friendships. So it's quality of service, quality of life, community, friendships. All of that is important. And mm. that's what having you at the helm and, and providing these services can bring to Douglas County. So you're right, it's not always about the numbers, but it's about the quality. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, this is good stuff. In terms of our environment, what can we do to help in transit, right? I know we have the, um, the grant from ARC, and mm -hmm. it was a quality, air quality grant, right? right? That was to get us thinking about how do we use transit in terms of our environment? You know, are we cutting down on our rides? Are we, mm -hmm. you know, using the van pools? Are we carpooling? And I know that COVID kind of cut a little of that down, right? It, it, it stopped it. But we still have to think about that because this is the only environment we get. That's so, right. so how can we, as citizens in Douglas County, mm -hmm. help in terms of transit and our environment? Uh, when I left here before, uh, you know, there's a wonderful program. There was a presentation made at the mm -hmm. previous work session on Georgia Commute Options. Mm -hmm. um, I, I worked with that program for uh, about five years. Um, mm -hmm. um, and uh, at that, that time, it was a, a Georgia DOT pro program, uh -huh. and the, now the Atlanta Regional Commission has it. Uh -huh. So, I mean, 
Yeah, that's a wonderful avenue. There are advocates out there, and that's what that program does, to get mm -hmm. people out of single occupancy vehicles mm -hmm. and get them into a van pool, mm -hmm. or get them onto a bus, right. or um, telecommute, uh, or you telecommute know, other is, things. Telecommute is a great option. We just had uh, someone to come on and talk to us about the telecommuting options mm -hmm. that, um, the incentives for telecommuting that mm -hmm. I didn't even know we, we as a county could offer. Mm -hmm. like, that's huge, right? It, it is. You know, it's it save our citizens, but it'll also save, again, our environment and those types of things. So um, this, this is good stuff. So tell me, does technology play a part in transit? It does. <laughs> um, and so the, so the Passio Go app, is, mm -hmm. is uh, you can download that on Android or iPhone, and mm -hmm. that actually has the routes for, for Connect Douglas. Okay. Um, it's P-A-S-S-I-O. Go, so um, it's you know the, the, there are improvements obviously mm -hmm. that we want to want to make, but uh, right now um, you know we, we're working through getting caught up on on several items that mm -hmm. have have uh, kind of slipped off the the map for a little while. Okay. Yeah, so with we, COVID, uh, uh, some things probably waned off, and now yeah. as ridership is starting to pick up, people are probably. Okay. Well, how do I even know where to go, or, or when the when the bus is coming, or those right. things? And with Passio, they can download and they can. Yes, ma'am. They, they can. So tell me, what, what what else should we know about this summer coming up? I mean, downtown Douglasville is getting ready to to boom, right? Right. So I mean, we probably have the Fourth of July parade mm -hmm. that's coming up. Yes. There are some opportunities to really get some of our riders to utilize our services. What else do you plan to do? Well, I, I think that's, uh, you know, it's, it's not just from a planning standpoint, it's looking mm -hmm. down the road as right. well. Uh -huh. You know, when they, when they build out all that stuff, yes. they're, 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 they're planning is going to be a fantastic Absolutely. area. Yeah. The, the, the 10 and 20 mm -hmm. ones uh, actually go downtown Douglasville are mm -hmm. the two most popular routes that we actually oh, have wow. already. So, mm -hmm. so, I mean, and, and as, as the other things that we're building and putting in place, mm -hmm. um, come online from planning and zoning mm -hmm. and this goes part and parcel for the study is to like look at the density areas looking at the character areas looking at the where we can uh, really uh, make the changes in transit either flex or demand response or okay. any of those other things mm -hmm. and that nomenclature that, you, that gets thrown around but sometimes mm -hmm. people don't realize the cost benefits for each one of those different services mm -hmm. but but if we're, if we're frugal and we're smart this can mm -hmm. this can be a much more uh, impactful uh, okay. program and uh, and uh, serve more people. Got you. It's um, sustainability, and for the Board of Commissioners, it's appropriations, right? Because mm -hmm. we want to make sure, you know, not only are we providing good service, but that um, it's cost effective, in, in a sense. And mm -hmm. so um, with that, tell me about, you know, the marketing for Connect Douglas. Are there any opportunities for businesses to come aboard and start, you know, advertising on, on the Connect Douglas buses? I know we were looking at mm -hmm. um, before getting the shelters, you know, in place. And right. I know that's down the line, mm -hmm. but, but talk to me a, a, a little bit about that. Okay, so, um, you know, though, though oh, that's just, there's pro and con. Okay. With those, okay. with those, okay. with those uh, <laughs> issues, I've seen that. Uh, uh -huh. We had uh, we had some experience at uh, at CCT. We uh -huh. expanded to allow mm -hmm. the, the the bus wraps. Uh, uh -huh. The content, you, you know, you can't really control that all. Ah. Uh -huh. So you you, you want to be uh, mindful of that. Mindful <laughs> of that. Um, but uh, you know, anything we can do to. to to uh, you know raise revenue, obviously that would be great, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. that is the kind of a, a side thing that people that. don't think so. Okay. And and the shelters, I think, um, is something that the seniors they were pretty absolutely yeah. And so most <laughs> systems really only have like say ten or fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. Most have like full on bus shelters. If you really think about it. most uh -huh. of them, are just the, the stop the signs or whatever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But um, and so. That's part of the holistic look that I'd really like to take with okay. with our transit, and that's something that we would do through a, through, through that study, okay. to be able to really drill down where we want to have the routes and what's the best option and what yeah. type services. One of the things mm -hmm. that being on the, the, the transit advisory board in Cobb, they they've expanded some of their um, 
areas, specifically micro microtransit systems mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. around Powder Springs and Austell, mm -hmm. which we could be, you know, we could be feeding into that mm -hmm. uh, and providing some a lot more trips. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I, I do have good relations over there. I, I, like I said, I worked over there for several years as well. Okay. So, um, but I think something like that would work. Definitely. So you you keep referencing the study, which you know, mm -hmm. myself and and other commissioners. It's good when we have information, right? So, yes. so that study is really pertinent in order for you to bring forth, okay, here is you know, mm -hmm. what, what the evidence says about where we best need to put services and, and, and get it to the, to the most people. Mm -hmm. So how long would a study take? It could be, um, we, we've, we talked about some very specific options with mm -hmm. uh, uh, ATL staff concerning the funding that we could okay. actually get it off the ground pretty pretty quick okay. um, eight to twelve months mm -hmm. um, would be uh, what I would expect mm -hmm. about the about the same length that a, a full the comprehensive transportation plan took but um, it's a deep dive it's it's there's there's capabilities that we can't do here I mean the, the modeling mm -hmm. and the, the, the software and, and all the other things we just don't have that um, okay. but we there's a lot of uh, good companies. Um, mm -hmm. ATL just went through the process to procure um, a, a, a variety of uh, consulting firms to have for these general planning contracts, okay. GPCs, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, they sent us the list right before they came over last week. And there's mm -hmm. some there's some really good firms in there. So. Okay, so you you'll have good quality companies to pick from. Once, oh, once absolutely. I come out. Awesome. So there, there is one thing that I, I, I have mentioned to, uh, to one of my commissioners who's over the, the Transportation Transit Committee. And uh, I said, you know, I have a hard time reading the signs. I know that it's a stop, but can we make the signs bigger? Is that possible? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, that's one of the things that the seniors at Deer Lake were like, our route, our route numbers are not on the signs uh -huh. either. So mm. we, that's an easy fix. Let's get, let's get some <laughs> let's get some stickers and put the routes on the signs. Thank you. In that, the, in that, the, would, that would make me happy. And then maybe <laughs> and maybe because uh, the the signs themselves don't really to me they're mm -hmm. a little hard to, 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 to. They're hard to read. Like I'm going, yeah. I'm passing it, and just because I don't know, I'm a commissioner, so I, you know I admire some of the things that we do around the county because mm -hmm. I know that they're there and they, or they're coming. But uh, but that was one of my gripes. It's like I can't read it. I know it's not just my vision. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I need it to be bigger, and so uh, I'm glad that's an easy fix. Well, we we can, we've got the you know most of the the, the, the funding we we use mm -hmm. down here is eighty twenty. Mm -hmm. I okay. mean, so if somebody's willing to give you eighty percent. Right. Of something, we can come up with the twenty well, shortly. Let's let's do that. Yes. And and there's and some of these grants that we that's one of the things I kind of had started down here in, in a part time capacity in February. Mm -hmm. So we. Mm -hmm. We're looking at these grants that have been sitting there, and we're like, "Hell, oh, you know." And, and there's a lot of little stuff, you know, just painting around here, mm -hmm. you know, fixing mm -hmm. this building up. We're, mm -hmm. we're this was built with transit dollars, so mm -hmm. we, we we you know we we have to maintain it. Got you. Yeah, yeah. And this building still looks nice, but mm -hmm. there are things like you say that need maintenance. Yeah. 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 Little TLC. Little TLC. You never hurt anyone. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, so tell me, what is it, Director Roberts? I call you Ron, but Director Roberts, what is it that you want within the next 90 days to see happen with you being in this role? I'd like to. Um, I, I still want to see the, the ridership go up. I want to see. Uh, I'd like to see those travel training plans. Mm -hmm. um, set up and locked down for the summer. We have a. a I talked to one of our planning and zoning members, <laughs> uh -huh. Frank Payne. Yes. He yes. wants to help us with the outreach. Nice. He had a background in MARTA. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got uh, him and uh, Sharma Davis kind of like looking okay. at some, some, mm -hmm. some things and maybe work with senior services to try to get those off. Okay. And I would like to see the study underway in the next, or at least a path forward in the next 90 days. I would okay. really would like that in the next 60 days. But, got you. Got you. But yeah. This is good. Well, I want to say again, congratulations. Thank you for stepping sure. up, you know, to take this role. I mean, it speaks volumes about your leadership, and I'm excited to see where we are one year from now, two years from now, what Connect Douglas would look like and feel like in Douglas County. Me too. Thank you for taking this time. Thank you for having me. All right.
Greetings Douglas County. My name is Kelly Robinson, Vice Chair of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners and Commissioner of the 2nd District. We have a very exciting and very important program that we offer the citizens called Connect Douglas. Connecting you to wherever you have to be, where you are. I want to thank all the staff that are here on support for you guys whenever you need a ride anywhere you want to go. Again, Connect Douglas, connecting you to where you want to be.